at the end of the day, we can only do so much. Some people just aren't, you see over and over again, different accidents with different results, like, and for no good reason, like you'll never understand why so-and-so died and so-and-so lived. Like there's just certain things that's out of our hands. Always take a step back and like, did I do everything I could? And you realize, yeah, like we did, we did everything we could. And unfortunately, some injuries are just not sustainable with life. And there's nothing we can do about that. There's been times that I have wondered if maybe I'd made the right choice for safety reasons. Am I gonna, am I gonna kill myself doing this one day or things like that? And, um, but uh, as you get going into anything, you, you learn how to mitigate risk and make it safe. So when I first started, um, the very first time I got in a helicopter, there was multiple instruments. I, could, I couldn't keep the thing straight and level. It would start just drifting sideways and not going where I wanted it to go. And it was hugely overwhelming then. I wondered how I'd ever make it through. Anytime you take on a new job, it's always overwhelming. I remember that first time I went into, I got my first call. The aircraft was in the hangar like it is here today. And they're like, we got a call. And I was like, okay, give me a second to check weather, which was my excuse of saying, give me a second to gather my, my stuff and make sure I'm, I'm ready to do this and I'm not forgetting anything. And they're like, the weather's fine. Let's get the helicopter out of here. Let's go, go, go. And so, you know, going from that place where I was so scared about everything, all of a sudden you get that first flight out of the way is now I look forward to the challenge of something like, oh, cool. This guy that we're gonna go pick up is at almost 11,000 feet. You know, he's, we're landing on the side of a mountain. And so now I look forward to the, the challenges of those things. So before where I was overwhelmed and scared and afraid I'd lose my job or I wouldn't do something right, you know, it's, it's at a place where I look forward to anything new or different or that could push me or make me a better, you know, pilot. You know, working on the ambulance as a paramedic, you go on all these calls and stuff like that, kind of like we do now. And uh, if a call is really bad and someone's really sick, um, you would call this amazing flight team and they would show up out of nowhere and land and save the day. And so like, you know, starting out in medicine like that, it was something you aspired to. You'd see these people that were just amazing. They'd take a situation that was super scary for us. And, you know, they'd seem to come in and calm everything down, take care of a human being and whisk them off to safety. And, and so that was, just remember thinking that would be really cool to do. I think I want to do that. So I try to learn from every experience and um, there are certain types of calls that are very stressful and they always will be. And I think through the years, I've just found a place in myself where when the call is happening, they need the medical crew when you do show up on a call to be calm and collected. Um, if you're spun up, everyone else is going to be spun up and that it's not good for the patient. So you need to come in. So I've just always found this little spot inside myself that when I when I land on the scene and I start taking care of the patient that I just kind of shuffle all my feelings to the side and uh, take care of the patient and then afterwards obviously there's it all comes back and so you you know you talk to your co-workers people that you respect get their opinion on things what you can do better um, what happened the people that you work with kind of become almost like your second family so they I'm um, talking to them kind of working through it all afterwards is kind of the most most helpful thing. I like the adrenaline part of it. I like the the excitement. You never know what you're going to get. Like everybody says, it's like a few minutes of doing nothing followed by like pure terror. And it really is. You And I still like to this day, I still get scared. There's still some calls that um, that just scare you because you know, like you have someone's life in your hand and what you do determines their outcome. And that is, it is scary. It's very scary. You get into such stressful situations and you wonder if you, did I do the right thing? Did, could I have done something different? Could I have done something better? And I think those are all doubts like anywhere in the medical community that everyone has at some point in their career. Just when, they're, when an outcome is not favorable, or things didn't go as you had planned. Um, I think you do doubt that. A lot of times, like, it's nice. We have such a tight group of people here that being able to sit down and talk to them because people just don't understand what we do. You can tell somebody, but they just don't get it. But when you're talking to someone who does the same thing, 
they completely understand. You don't even have to say anything. You can just key words and they're like, oh, you had a really bad day. And there is a lot of personal sacrifice to do what you do. I have four little boys and I don't know many times where we actually celebrate on their birthday because my job is the days are always different. And, uh, you know, my, I may be scheduled to get off at nine in the morning, but I might not get back till two or four in the afternoon. So um, they've grown up with that. And if you're just looking for monetary rewards for it, then you're going to be disappointed. So I think inside you really have to want to actually help people and be willing to make a sacrifice. That sacrifice extends to those around you. And you have to understand that.